So this is here with uh, session seven of Know Your UI certifications. All right, this is a little in, a little more in depth than the rest of the uh, tutorials. These are your cert points. Basically, it is another currency that you earn in the game. You look at them here. Got an experience bar for your certification. I have eight total saved up. I'm working on my ninth cert point at the moment. I've spent not positive how many cert points I've spent. Available cert eight. No, it's not telling me what I've spent so far. I'm thinking around 200. All right. So now certifications are ways to upgrade your character. It's like your talent trees. You eventually can have them all. So don't worry. You're not going to mess up your spec. You might mess up your spec for a while for what you want to do, or you might be going any which way. No spec is wrong. Eventually you'll have them all. All right. So I've been working on my infiltrator. All right. Now in my infiltrator's summary, in the certifications, I have put in points. I think it was uh, 50 points to get a med kit abilities. It's 50 points to get the next med kit. And it's 50 points to get the next. So so on and so forth. Uh, certain certain certifications are not out yet. Not have not been implemented yet for uh, balancing purposes. All right. So uh, explosives, I can put money into claymores. Uh, cert points into claymores. Um, all sorts of certifications for the infiltrator, i.e. the sniper. So I have put in points into my weapon. I uh, opened up the barrel attachments. I opened up uh, eight times scope, and I opened up the forward grip. And certs are you know ten points for this, five, thirty-five for that, twenty for this, ten for that. And so you can upgrade your weaponry as well. I haven't done anything to my pistol yet. Your basically experience bar or uh, cert bar here shows you how, ma how many certs you've implemented into that certain tree. So I've put more into my sniper rifle than I have into my universals. Go back to previous, so that was infiltrator. I've put 1% in, uh, into heavy assault, 1% light assault, 1% into engineer. Nothing in the max, nothing in the combat me medic. So those are your certifications for each one of your classes. Don't worry. If you're playing a max all the time and you get your points all while you're playing your max, you can spend them on your infiltrator. You can spend them on your light assault. You can even spend them on your vehicles. So don't worry. You'll keep getting points and you'll max out your certifications eventually. So like I've spent certification points on my mosquito which is my flyer that I like the composite armor I put on and what else oh, the uh, acquisition timer I've shortened uh, the first one was five points second one was ten next one's fifteen uh, I've also upped my nanite auto repair power and I've uh, lowered the delay timer on being able to use my auto repair there's certifications and all the weaponry for that for the uh, vehicles so you can up just about everything and like I said there's some that are not implemented yet they'll be balancing them over the data I'm pretty sure and implementing all those so those are your vehicles certifications now you have your squad leader certifications which allows you to be a squad leader and then other things will allow you to rank up and whatnot I just wanted access to the spawn beacons so that's your very first command rank so I had to put uh, I think it was 50 points into that to where I could put my spawn beacons down um, you'll have all these different certifications to run through your talent tree you know some of them cost a hundred here we go what's prior priority deployment additional reduction to the spawn timer on the squad IR beacon you know and uh, th there's just so many talent trees so many different paths you can take on setting up your certifications for your account for your for your personal characters which I think is just brilliant 